Hi, this is Matt with Matchy.com here with another Illustrator tutorial. Um, we're going to be lettering in Illustrator once again. Um, today we're going to be taking a look at the Area Type tool. Um, the Area Type tool is very handy for lettering comic books. Um, what, it, what it enables you to do is simplify the process of arranging your text in a word balloon so it's not all haphazard as I used to do when I was younger and more foolish. So. Um, hopefully you've already watched part one and have learned how to set up your file. Um, this is a little bit more staged, so I already have my text in here and I have some word balloons already set up in here. Um, and that's just to make the video go a little faster. So, um, what I've done differently from um, part one is you'll see that I have my word balloon in layer three. And this is because we're going to use this word balloon as our area to type in with the area type tool. So you bring your you bring this balloon into layer three, and then I'm going to grab my text. Now you'd probably be grabbing this text from a script, but I just put it here for ease, so we didn't have to go into the whole uh, formatting the text with you know font and everything like that. So I copy the text, then I come over here. Now you probably it usually automatically reverts to the area type tool when you go over a path like this. As you can see it's doing, it's going from the square box to the sort of round thing. But just to be on the safe side, I'm going to show you over here. Um, if you if you click and hold on the, the type tool, the second option there is the area type tool. You just select that, you come over here and you click on the path. You gotta you can't just click inside the area, it won't work. You gotta click on the path and it, there you go. You got a cursor inside this path. So then I'm just gonna hit control V to paste the text in there and voila your text is in there and you can size and resize it as you want um, I think this would probably benefit from being centered I'm also noticing a hyphen here you can come over to your paragraph palette and you can unclick hyphenate because hyphens are not going to really look good in a comic book so and so you can see this better I'm just going to bring this over to the side just so you can get a better look at what's going on here so what's going on is I have the text and it's inside this path, this word balloon sized path, so I can just fit it to however I want. And then I'll just, whoa, a little crazy there. So then I can just bring it over here and place it however I want. And then I don't have to worry about hitting return or, you know, sitting there formatting the text line by line. I could, it'll just fit it to the best fit for the balloon and I'm good to go. So then I lock that layer. I jump over to my layer two, and again, I would be probably be pasting this in, but I already had it staged. And then I just bring over my word balloon, and I fit that to there, and I'm good to go. And the next, all that I really have to do from here on out is just put in a little tail, select that whole thing. I mean, you saw this before, hopefully. Go over to my Pathfinder. Boom, done. And that's really all there is to it. So. Okay, perfectionist. Okay, now that's all there really is to it. So um, I hope you learned something there. Um, I'll be back next time, uh, probably showing you more complex word balloon arrangements. Thank you for watching my video. Um, feel free to come check out more videos at matchy.com. I also have written tutorials there and examples of my art and other fun stuff, updates about myself. Um, you can also come check out my Facebook page. I'll put the link in the description below. It's just too long for me to spout off to you here. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.